Hi everyone. Happy Saturday. I um, was thinking about what video to do next and I decided it was um, my two personal favorite videos on YouTube are What's in My Bag. I did that yesterday. But I like to watch them. I think that's really, really interesting. It's um, interesting to me to see what other people carry around and what they find essential. And the other favorite I have is um, sort of the bottom of the jar videos, the empty videos, the things that people are going to repurchase and that they have used up. I think that's interesting to me because embarrassingly enough I rarely seem to use something up because I am always on to something different and um, yeah so I have been saving up some empties to show you and to give you some ideas of things that you may like that I obviously have liked or I wouldn't have used them to the bottom of the container. So one of those things would be MAC brush cleaner. Um, it, you know, the name speaks for itself, but this cleans the brushes as you, here's a dirty one, but I just sort of put on a wipe and rub the brush in the cleaner and that's that, done. I do every week go, um, over them with a, a better cleanser, usually Dr. Bronner's soap. But that's something I always have on hand. I actually have an extra always on hand because I go through this. This lasts me usually about um, three or four months. So that's MAC brush cleaner. Um, cleanse off oil. I'm going to do a video on how I remove my makeup. But this, I really love this product. I think this is a good one. I like the way it smells, the way it feels, it doesn't break me out, and it removes my eye makeup really well. So that's another one. MAC Cleanse Off Oil. So that's that. I don't mean to go too fast, I just have a lot to go through. So MAC Matte Cream. Cream, well, I guess it's just MAC Matte. But this I love. I use every day, and I think I got every drop out of this I could. I put it all over my T-zone and under my eyes. I know it seems counterproductive since it's matte, but it just makes a smooth base to put concealer on. And this is what the tube looks like. It's not very big, but it's not very expensive. It's $19 for this tube, which is much cheaper than most um, primers out there. So this is something I've had for years and I will always have until they discontinue it, which let's hope they don't. All right. Ulla Henriksen Invigorating Night Gel. I have not a drop left. I like this product a lot. It feels a little sticky, which is not ideal at nighttime, but you put this on, let it soak in, and then put on a moisturizer on top, and it sort of keeps the pores clear. Good. It's a really good product and a good line. I'm going to do a review on it very soon. That's my plan. Anyway. Here's another cleansing oil that I just finished, Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I like this one a lot, um, but I think for the price, I believe these two are about the same. I'd rather get this one, and then you can save up your empties and send them back to MAC and get a free lipstick, and that appeals to me because I know I'll empty this one. So yeah, those are two different things like that. There's another Ulla Henriksen product. This is the, the Truth Serum Collagen Booster. I like this. Um, this was just a sample size. I have a big size and I've gone through several of these. This is something I use after my nighttime moisturizer and it sort of brightens and, it, well, it doesn't break me out. I have very breakout prone skin, but I do like this product. I will use it again, but I, right now I'm using a different serum that I will talk about really soon. So that's that. Um, Giovanni Brazilian Keratin and Argan Oil Conditioner, Ultra Sleek Conditioner. I use this up quickly. I have long hair, so I use any conditioner pretty quickly. I don't think I'll repurchase this. This cost about um, $9 at Target, and to me it's not worth it. I do kind of look for things that have no... Um, silicones in them, no amethicone, dimethicone, 
dimethiconal. I don't like any of that. I, I like things that are just pure and without silicone. This doesn't have silicone. It's it's a nice conditioner. It detangles, but my hair's wet right now, and as you can see, oh, and it's all product up. <laughs> I put two different. I put a silicone-free serum and something else in it, and it's still fly away. So I use this today, and yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase that. Oh wow, this is a good one. Sephora's Head to Toe Hydrator. I love this. I really wish it came in a large size, like a really large size with a pump. It doesn't. It was, I think it was $14 and for a body moisturizer that's kind of high in my opinion. But it just made my legs, my feet feel like silk. I loved it. I would love to get more of it. Um, I will wait till they have a sale, a friends and family sale. But this is a really nice product and it does what it says. It hydrates from head to toe and it's got kind of a kind of an aquatic scent that's you know sort of an ocean kind of perfume to it but I, I really really like it and like I say it's not a very big it's only four four point two ounces and I think it could be bigger for what it is but really nice product in fact I have the body butter from Sephora this is so much better for hydrating so yeah something to think about really like that um, Biolage Delicate Care Organic Certified Oil it's, well, I have a few drops left, but I what I did with this was I would put it in my uh, hair and let it soak for a few minutes before I wash my hair. And I do think it helped um, not dry out my hair as much when I wash. So, yeah, I like that, and I will repurchase that for sure. It's kind of expensive also. It's like $25. But you could probably do the same thing with olive oil, but that la this little tiny bottle lasted me a good six months. So... Yeah, I, th I think it's worth having. Um, this is a brand I really, really like, and I've bought lots of their products. This is um, Carol's Daughter Vanilla Truffle Body Cream. It smells like, to me, white chocolate. This, this tub lasted me, uh, I think I bought it in January. It lasted me a long time, but I do kind of rotate between different products. This is... Mostly, in, it is all natural. It has coconut oil. Um, uh, what else? I mean, it, this is a natural line. And I like natural things. I try to avoid any parabens. And I think this is a really nice brand and a nice product. Um, Carol's Daughter has a lot of hair products. I've, I, I'll do a review on that. I've used their Manoy oil line. I've used the chocolate line. I like the chocolate line. Um, and... And it's just really a nice company, and I, I like to utilize their products. Sunscreen. I go through this very quickly. This is Shiseido's Extra Smooth Sun Protection Lotion for Face and Body, very water resistant, SPF 38 PA. And this is really thin, and you can put it under makeup, and you can't see it. Um, you can see it in photography, but you can't see it under makeup and it's very lightweight, very watery consistency, which I personally like, and it does not clog my pores. Hopefully, um, if you have acne prone skin, this I think this works really, really well. And this is something I will repurchase, although it has parabens in it, which I wish it didn't. But on to the next sunscreen, similar consistency, um, without all the chemicals and garbage. Josie Moran SPF UVA UVB protection daily moisturizer. I'm probably saying that wrong, maybe Josie Marin, or I don't know. I don't really know who that is, but I like their products. And this has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. I have not had a, a new freckle when I wore this. I love this sunscreen. And I recently went to Sephora and they had a like a double size. This is two ounces. I think it was four ounces for fifty dollars. Um, they may still have it on Sephora.com. And yeah, I really like this. I like the Shiseido for the body. So like I will use this on my hands, on my my forearms if I'm going to be driving, especially. And this is. This is just, I don't know, it's such a great product. I just really wish it didn't have so many chemicals. This one, I like for the face. And the 
you know, this area, the chest and neck. It's really, really a nice product. So yeah, give that a try for sure if you're in the market for a new sunscreen. And then this hand cream, I really am enjoying and I bought the big tub. It's about this size and it's next to the bed. So at night I will put this on and this is called First Aid Beauty Ultra, Ultra Repair Cream. Intense therapy skin protectant with fab antioxidant booster. And it has um, oatmeal as one of the um, ingredients that's supposed to help your skin. Much like Aveeno, but I think this is, again, all natural. There's nothing weird in it, no chemicals, and I really love it. And it's really nice if you put it on at night, you wake up and your hands are very soft. So this is something I will repurchase for sure. So I hope that was helpful. Um, this is just, like I say, one of my favorite videos. Hopefully you think it's fun too. And if you have any um, questions about these products, you know, let me know down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I'm just really, um, it's heartwarming that people are willing to listen to what I have to say. I, I feel like I started doing this for, um, to kind of get over some shyness and I ended up making some friends and that is just so awesome. It's awesome to me that what, you know, that I can maybe help someone purchase something that will work really well for them and return the favor that I've, I've um, been, you know, getting for all these years from other um, YouTubers. And yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Take care.